Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Single Double Build Workout. This is a total body workout for strength and cardio where we start with a single dumbbell, we go through the circuit and then we repeat it again with two dumbbells. Of course, within that, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and start just moving your body, march, jog, shake everything out, whatever you need to do. We're gonna get our temperature up, our body's temperature up, the blood flowing, the muscles warm, everything ready to move. We'll be keeping this short, so if you need more of a warm up, please get it on your own. But we'll get a couple minutes of some mobility, some dynamic movements to get our body ready to move and ready to add load with the weights. So taking one arm to the back, then reverse it to the front. Just getting that shoulder mobility right through here. And then back. And let's roll those hips. We're gonna roll into a little side lunge. Or you can just roll the hips, whatever feels good for you. You can do here, and then big stretch here, right through here. Trying to get deep, just opening up the hips. One more each side. Let's hold it right here. Just shift the weight side to side. You can reach those arms. Again, hip opener. And then while we're here, turn those toes out. Roll those shoulders nice and easy. Yes. Let's squat it down right here. We're just gonna sit low, big reach up. You don't have to get super low, but just to get into that squat pattern, because we're gonna be adding it in. Two more. And then hold it here. If you can, take those hands down on the ground. If that's not right, keep them right here. And you're gonna extend up through the legs, and then drop it down. Extend up, so we're getting back of the legs. Breathe. And then hold them here, pedal those feet. And then slowly, we're gonna step back into that world's greatest stretch. So I'm going here. If that's not right for you, you can of course drop it down here or stay upright, grab onto the wall, big reach up. And then we'll take it down. Step back again, you can step back to the knees or to the planks, other side. Big stretch up. We're gonna come back to this move, so we're not gonna hang out here very long, but we are gonna go to that high plank if you can, or you can be on your knees, whatever is good for you. Just a little forward and back to get the core fired up and ready to go. And then slowly walk those hands back. Slowly round it up. All right, tap and reach across. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna take it in. Three quick circuits, two or longer. One is pretty short, right? It's our bonus circuit. We're getting it done, and it will feel a little bit like a Metcon, right? Because we're gonna start with a single dumbbell, and actually we will start our very first move of every circuit is a cardio mobility or a mobility, so it's all body weight. Then we're gonna grab our weights. We will have essentially a lower body than an upper body than a core, but we are going to Add a few little compound things in there. Then we will finish with a body weight, more cardio-based exercise where you'll have an option to add a weight if you want or you can keep it body weight. Then we do it all again. Your first round is 40 seconds of work with one dumbbell. Second round is 50 seconds of work with two dumbbells. It's gonna make sense as we go. And again, I will give you lots of options. So we're gonna start actually with that world's greatest stretch. You have two options. You can step it back here and just stretch from the top, either hand on the ground or hand up top, then step into it, or you can take it down to the plank. But join me here, here we go. So step it back, reach it up, reach it down, and then you can either step back up or take it to the plank. Here, reach, we've got 40 seconds. You find what you need in this moment. If you need more mobility and you wanna drop that hip down, you wanna hang out there a little longer, that's okay too. If you don't wanna to go to the ground, you can just take it here, stretch it over, bring it up or add a little balance. If you want a little more core, right through here. 
and here. Last one, yes. All right, one dumbbell in the center. Try to go with something heavy. So, especially in these single dumbbell moves, I would love for you to try to go heavy because you've only got one. We're gonna take it right through here. We're gonna take it down into a sumo squat, straight up in a press. So strong legs and core, then some upper body. Here we go. Down, up, press. So elbows in, single dumbbell. Second time through, we'll add that second dumbbell. So a little tougher for the legs, and then also a little higher heart rate, tougher for the arms. You can do it like I'm doing one and then the other, or think of it a fluid movement right through here. Down, press it up. Of course, you can always just do one or the other. You have that option. Remember what I always say, be where you are today. This is your workout. You do you. Figure out what works best for you and relax. All right, so moving on, one side, right side. We're gonna do a wide row and then a bicep curl. Now you can stay hinged the whole time, wide and curl, or row, come up out of it and curl. If you need that opposite hand, go for it, but hinge it here. Here we go. Row and bicep curl. So similar to what we do with the kettlebell, I tell you to have that extra hand here if you need a little help, but if you can, try to go heavy with it, and if you wanna come up out of it, you get that extra hinge, right? Up to you. So you can go wide row, bring it up, bicep curl, or here, stay hinged and up. I know. Breathe. 10 seconds this side. I hope you went heavier. I know. It's a little different. Three, two, one. Right? Stretch that back. Now we got the same thing, other side. So we're gonna hinge it here again. Wide row, so just a little wider with that elbow, but still pulling for those back muscles, then a curl. So you're either coming the curl from here, or you're coming up out of that hinge and curling at the top. Use that opposite hand if you need it. Here we go. Wide row, curl. Wide row, up if you want, and curl. Either one, and breathe. Yes. And up. Boom, bring it up and curl. You might find that hinged curl even a little bit easier. Up to you. What I don't want you to do is swing or feel like you have to use momentum. It's not a clean, it's an actual curl. So, and breathe, yes. Up, three, two, and one. Bring that down to the mat. Now, if you want to, you can keep this on your knees. This is your modification. It's just a plank pull through, right? We're just coming here to here. Or knees here, or all the way up in that high plank. We're gonna pull that weight across, keep the core stable and engaged. Let's do it. So you're reaching underneath your body, then pulling that weight across, right? It's not here taking the weight across. It's reaching under and here. Take it here. Breathe. Yes. Starts to feel like too much. Just get a little stretch from your knees and bring it back up, right? Or stay on your knees. You can split the difference here and still get that core engagement. Or if you need a little break for your wrist. Right through here. Boom. Three, two, one. Back up onto your feet. We're going to go single side, knee raise for 20 seconds. Other side, knee raise for 20 seconds. If you wanna add a light weight, you can. Otherwise, we're gonna keep it cardio, but I want that weight close to your body, just bringing the knees in, standing core, and mostly cardio. 20 and 20, here we go. You don't have to go the same speed as me. If you're going body weight, you may even be able to go a little bit faster, but think about rotational movement. Arms up and down with body weight, keeping it close for dumbbell in three, two, one. Here we go, other side. Hup. So if you've got the weight, you're thinking more elbow to knee. If you're taking it body weight, you can bring those hands up and across. Up 
and across, right? Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, you know what's coming up. Go ahead and get set up. We're taking it all again. 50 seconds of work. Woo. Have those two weights close by. <laughs> I'm gonna put my tens up here too because I might go lighter on some things. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, starting with that world's greatest stretch, then we go from there. Here we go. Down, reach. Either step up out of it or get the stretch. Take it to the plank. What you're gonna like about this is I promise you, this second circuit is gonna be tough. Again, this is where it's gonna really feel like a Metcon because we have a short amount of rest, but we're getting it done. That heart rate is gonna stay up, but I think what you're gonna like is that it's gonna go fast. Keep breathing. Again, if you wanna drop that knee a little more, you can get more of that hip stretcher. Stretch, stretching or a stretcher. Hip flexor stretch. I think is where my brain was going. Right through here. Yes. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Two dumbbells. We got a plie and a press. So you may want to go a little lighter. You can just go here to here if you want, or traditional press in three, two, one. Take it down. Take it up. A little higher heart rate. So the theme of this whole month's challenge has been accelerate, right? So we're accelerating our workouts in different ways. Sometimes that is going faster in some of our cardio workouts. Sometimes we're accelerating by adding more load, which is what we're doing here, right? We're also accelerating our time. There's that heart rate. And breathe. And up, 15 seconds, core engage. I'm pressing up, then bringing those elbows in. So it's nice and tight. Get the power from the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hang on to those two dumbbells or get two heavier ones. Wide row and curl. So you're here and bicep curl or bring it up. Three, two, one. Wide row and curl. Wide, bring it up, curl. You can add that hinge if you want. Up to you, either one. Or keep it low, yes, I went lighter. So maybe I'm moving a little quicker than I did with those 15s. But I knew it was a long set, right? Woo! Also adding that hinge is gonna give your arms like a two second breather. So that's an option. And give your back a little break if you're starting to feel that low back. I get it. It's working hard. Bring it up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, two weights team. We're down. This time we're pulling two weights across. One and then the other. Make sure you don't bang those hands. Do what you need to do if you need to take it to just one or stay on the knees. Go for it. Here we go. Pull one. And then the other, same arm. Two weights, right through here. Pull it, and reach. Reach under, you're trying to get it sort of on the outside. If your plank is here, you wanna to pull to the outside. So you have to get a small rotation. It's not a huge torso rotation like we do in a lot of our core work. It is small, small enough to put you off balance and make that core work harder. Here we go, and breathe. Right through here, reach, and reach. Pull through, 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, so two dumbbells. Actually, let's just go one. If you're going weighted on this, just go one. Side to side, alternating for 50 seconds. Here we go. Bring it up. So it's cardio. If your hands need a break from those weights and you wanna just go for it, if you need more higher intensity, higher speed cardio, take it here. If you wanna keep that core and those arms working, take it here, take it here. 
we're just taking two legs. Instead of two dumbbells, two legs, right? Keep it moving. You got 20 seconds to go. Breathe. Heart rate up. And guess what? Circuit number one is done. I know. Can you pick up that pace by keeping it controlled? Accelerate for three, two, and one. Catch your breath, team. Quick sip of water. Ah, I know. That was a long circuit, right? Remember that part of what makes it long is we're adding in mobility, right? Things that we might do at the beginning or the end. Catch your breath. Speaking of mobility team, we're gonna take it to a down dog to a plank. This is your first mobility. You watch me, keep breathing, catch your breath. Down dog into that plank. Or other options, child's pose up to all fours or child's pose up to plank. What do you need to get mobility? What feels best for you? 40 seconds first time, 50 seconds second time. Then we're taking it to a hinge and a lunge. With one dumbbell, you can just do a straight up hinge and drop into a lunge, or single leg, drop into a lunge. All right, we'll get right side, left side. Then we got some upper body. Let's get it done. Go ahead, walk those hands out, 40 seconds. Here we go. We got down dog into that high plank. So I do want you to think about the core engaging, but more I want you to think about this mobility. So if you need to get a little paddle of those feet, you need to press up with those hips. I'm trying to get more mobility in my low black back. Low back. So, ooh, I get kind of stuck there. And also getting those hamstrings down. Again, an option is always plank to child's pose or child's pose to all fours. You're still gonna feel the core kick in. We've got three, two, one. All right, team, so one heavy dumbbell. You're gonna have it on the inside. If my right leg is forward, my left arm has the weight. I've got a hinge. I would love for you to do this straight leg hinge and then drop down into the lunge, or you can pick that leg up. You do you, nice and wide. Here we go. So hinge, then drop in the lunge. Straight leg in the back as you hinge, soft bend in the front, keeping those shoulders pulled back. So you can tell with the one dumbbell, it's almost more challenging because you have to really stabilize in that core to make sure it doesn't pull you into rotation, right? We just want the hinge. We want that core to work hard. And down, totally fine to just hinge, bend at the waist, and drop low in the lunge. Yes. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Get a little stretch with that hamstring. Get ready to switch your sides. Again, if you're just hinging forward, you're up on that back toe, but soft bend in the front knee, just bend, drive it up, then drop right down into that lunge. Otherwise, you can bring that leg up, but still soft bend in the front leg. Let's do it, here we go, 40 seconds. Hinge, and down. Hinge, trying to keep those shoulders square. I know the weight is pulling you. That's where our core work comes in. Woo! Use that wall if you need to. Or find that spot on the floor out in front. Not back here by your feet. Take it here. Drive up through the heel. Ha! Ah, 10 seconds to go. Down. And breathe. Relax. All right, team, one lighter dumbbell right here. It is a wide press, so I almost want it to feel like a pull down. So watch me here. Elbow comes in, we're going up, triceps behind the head. If you need to, take this here. If you just have one heavier weight, you can take it press, triceps here. But join me here, here we go. Pull down, elbow, press up, triceps behind the head. Pull it down, press up. So what I'm aiming to get is a little bit of a sneaking in that pull down in these back muscles, then a push, then triceps. So pull down, watch that head. So please stabilize here or here if you need a little extra help. Similar to what we talk about with that bicep, you can put this hand here or take it with two. 
pull down and up. Three, two, one, boom, right? Woo! Get excited, that one's gonna be good when we add two. All right, team, same thing, other side. See if you can keep this one out there again. Help, give that support. Pull that elbow in, squeeze in the back. Press up and in, behind the head for triceps in three, two, one. Squeeze, up, behind, I know. Squeeze, press up, boom. Core engaged, and again, use this hand if you need to, to either give you a little extra support, if you need it, right through here, or here, boom. Yes! This is our breather, right? We want those muscles to work hard, but our heart rate's getting a little break. Isolate those tries. And All right, team, down on two, your back. If you want to, you can take this to a bridge. If the crunch is not right for you, you're gonna take that dumbbell over the head, bring it into the bridge, connect with the core. If you're able, here, pull everything in with or without lifting the shoulders, you do you. Here we go. Pull over, crunch. Pull over. If you're lifting the shoulders, I want you to tuck that chin slightly so you're looking forward, but not straining in that neck. You can add legs going out if that feels good for you. You decide, what do you need? Maybe you need just one knee, other foot down. Maybe you need that bridge. We're getting upper back and shoulders as well as that core. I know. Three, two, one, and relax. Come up on your knees, team. Here's what we got. Our cardio is a surrender. So you can just be up, up, down, down, then switch your lead leg. You can take it just alternating lunges from the top or tap backs, or you can hold a weight. You do you. In three, two, one. Up, up, down, down right here. I like to stay low. If your legs need to come all the way up, you can. But I like to stay down here in that squat position to keep my legs burning. Again, you can do this without weights or that bothers your knees, tap back or a lunge back, up to you. 10 seconds to go, there's that heart rate, right? You feel it. Then we get through everything again, starting with good old mobility. We got three, two, one, relax. All right, team, you know what to do. Now we're getting 50 seconds, we're adding the second dumbbell. Down dog to plank, keep doing what you're doing, Hinge and lunge, second dumbbell, we'll keep it right and left. Wide press and tries, then pull over crunch. All two dumbbells if you can, so you may think about going a little lighter. Let's start with that down dog. Plank or all fours, down dog or child's pose. Here we go, 50 seconds. Stretch, get the mobility. Use the core to hover into that plank. Stretch. Another option would be come down to the knees, then up to down dog, depending on where your body is today. Press it up and back. You need to move the feet a little bit to feel more of that stretch. That's okay too. Sometimes that happens, especially going plank to down dog. Your plank might be a little further out. Child's pose works too. We got 10 seconds to go. So hang with me, increase that mobility. Core is working. Five, four, three, two, one. Up onto your feet, two heavy weights if you got them. We got one hinge, one lunge. Remember, you can do just a hinge forward or kickstand into the lunge or single leg. Here we go, 50 seconds. Hinge and lunge. Hinge. Right here. Down. Drive it up. And breathe. 
Yes, isolate that leg. We're building, building our time, accelerating our time under tension, accelerating our weights, building to two double dumbbells, right? Woo! <laughs> Get that balance. Core is working no matter how you're doing it. Five, four, shoulders back. Three, two, one. Give your hands a break. You probably need it. And then pick them right back up because it's only 10 seconds. Here we go. Hinge and lunge. Three, two, one. Hinge it forward. Lunge it down. Shoulders are what we call packed. So really aim like you're trying to pull those shoulders back. You're not arching your back. You're pulling your shoulder blades in. As you lean forward in that hinge, those shoulders stay back. It's tricky, but you can do it. Just think, good posture, even when you're leaning forward towards the ground. Through here. Boom. Right here, yes. Ha, 10 to go. Every time I look at the clock, I get off balance. I'm gonna look at you. Three, two, one, and relax. Set those weights to the side. You probably wanna go a little bit lighter. If you can, two dumbbells up and tricep. Three, two, one. Squeeze in your back. Press up and in, behind. Your head looks like this. Squeeze in the back, up and in, almost like a little circle. Or half circle with both arms. If that is feeling like too much, take it back to that one dumbbell. You can just go up, in, and pull those elbows down and squeeze here. Up, behind your head, and squeeze. If you can, keep it with two. Right, we're building, we're accelerating. Yes, squeeze. Press behind your head. Squeeze, press. Five seconds to go. Boom, and relax. All right, team, so it is up to you. If you wanna take two dumbbells for the pullover, otherwise just keep it one. If you're gonna add the crunch, the lifting of the shoulders, keep it one dumbbell, that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna aim to go a little heavier. If you wanna just take it with the pullover, with two, and then the knees or the bridge, you're keeping the shoulders down, feel free to go for two. Let's get it done, 50 seconds in three, two, one. Pull it over, bring the weight to the knees. You can also do this with body weight or two dumbbells. You decide where you wanna be. If you're lifting the shoulders, keep it very controlled. Think about the movement coming from the core. I know we're thinking about where that weight is, and we should be, but think about the core initiating the movement. Everything in, everything out. Navel to spine, zip it up like you're zipping up that pair of pants. Oh man, team, I know. And breathe. We're taking it here, yes. 10 seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one. Last. Thing, team. We're back to that surrender or double lunge. You're feeling fancy. Rack those two weights or one or none. Here we go. Up, up, down, and down. If you don't feel like you have the best form with weights or two weights, then drop them. I promise you're still going to feel it. You're still going to get that heart rate up, right? <sighs> yes. I'm going to stick with it because I know I'm halfway there. Just about 20 seconds to go. Whoo! Keeping my core engaged. Yes, team. Ten. Can I get one more each side? Last one. Relax, yes. Team, grab a sip of water. Woo, I know. Ha. All right, this last circuit, it's quick, 
it's a bonus circuit. If you wanna be done at this point, get a little stretch on your own, you can. If you wanna get five extra minutes, we got a little core, we got a little upper body push, we got some swings. Join me here. We are going to start down on our mat, one heavy dumbbell, actually two heavy dumbbells. Whew. We're gonna take it 40 seconds and 40 seconds, but we're taking them back to back. So I want you to have those dumbbells available. I'm gonna take my opposite leg and opposite arm, leg lower and press. Then I'm gonna go right into the other for 40 seconds. Then we're gonna break, we're gonna get a quick stretch, we're gonna stay down here, we're gonna put them together for 50. Then we're gonna come up, we're gonna get a series of swings. So join me on the mat, we're gonna make this quick team. Go ahead, bring those feet up. If you're more comfortable with the bridge, just take a bridge, you can even do a single leg. It's all gonna put you off balance. But let's get it done, 40 seconds in 40 seconds. Opposite arm, opposite leg, in three, two, one. Press, leg lower. So I've just got this other weight counterbalancing. You can also be here, right through here. Bring it up strong. Think about closing the core, right? So as the weight comes up to the foot and you're keeping your shoulders down, close the core. Bonus circuit, there's no bonus move. This is it, team. All right, so hang with me. We're just gonna get a big push for upper and core and then push for lower and cardio. And you're gonna love it. Get set. We're gonna switch those weights in three, two, one. Here we go, other side. So maybe you have to take a second. Take it here. You can rest this weight all the way down if you need to. It's gonna increase that balance. Think about pulling those inner thighs together. That's gonna help you connect with that deep core. Do you feel the difference? And if it helps you to keep this hand here, <laughs> I know, right? Feeling it, team. And breathe. 10 seconds. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stay there. I don't want to do a lot of up and down, so let's keep it here. We're going to put them together. So here we go. We're going to alternate our legs. Or take it to the bridge, or just do the press, but we got 50 seconds. Core, upper push, in three, two, one. Here we go. If you're feeling especially spicy today, you can go both legs down, both arms down everything up and in. I like getting that little inner thigh squeezed because it helps me contract that deep core and pelvic core. You can always alternate. If they're starting to feel super heavy, you do you, right? Or rest one leg down and just go knees. Whoo, burn, I know, I feel it too. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Up onto your feet, team. This is it. Now, we did some hinges, we did some deadlifts. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a kickstand swing. So, if you're not comfortable with that, I want you to take a kickstand deadlift, just like this. Otherwise, we got 20 seconds. Watch me here, it's gonna be on the outside of the front leg. So I don't want you to hit that leg here. We're gonna power up. This front leg is doing more of the work. If you feel too off balance, take it single arm swing with flat feet or kickstand. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and we put them together. That is it. All right, zip up that core. You're gonna hinge. Start with that little deadlift, get a feel for it. Here, if you're feeling good about it, let's swing it in three, two, power up. Breathe. You can also use this hand at the top, so this front leg gets the power. It's a hinge, keep those shoulders back. Wide on the outside of the leg. Yes, team, breathe. I know, five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. All right, team, give yourself a little stretch, all right? Stretch that back, maybe pedal those hamstrings. Same thing, other side. All right, start with a little deadlift. 
Then let's swing. Keep it on the outside of the leg. If you don't feel like you can clear it, please take it to the deadlift. Safety first. Hinge it here. Kick stand. Just a couple to get your form. Then as you're ready, let's do it. Here we go. Power. Power it up. Kick stand. This hand can help here or take it out. Drive up and through. Everything else is similar to your swing. Again, if that doesn't feel good for you, plant that foot flat beside the other one. Yes, team. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. So your pick. You can take one dumbbell in the center here, because I know that's what you're used to. You can grab your kettlebell, or you can take two, ski or swing. That's the idea. 30 seconds, last thing. Rest your back, little stretch, power through, because this is it. Shoulders back, zip up your core. Let's get some power, hinge it in three. Prep it, deadlift or swing. Here we go, skier, up, lock it out, let it drop. Push into those feet. I know it's even more tempting with dumbbells to try to want to lift. It's not a lift, it's power. It's a hinge. It's back of your body, powering everything forward, bringing those weights up. Yes, I know. And breathe. For three, two, one, swing. Oh man, pedal those feet. I know team, it's been a while since we've had a longer workout like this on our regular schedule if you're following the calendar. If you're not, join us. Ha. Stretch your back, hands on top of the legs. I want you to roll through a cat cow. But, and it's also not very often that we do swings back to back with a little rest in between, but it was time. It was time to get that power, time to get that burn. Time to get that build, right? Whew, we're gonna keep this stretch and cool down pretty short so we can get you out of here. So please leave me a comment. Let me know how did you feel in this workout? How are you feeling now? Are you energized? Did you like going from single to double? Did that make it more fun, less fun? What is it for you? I wanna hear from you. I love hearing your feedback. I always read all of it. I try to get back to you if I can. If you have questions, certainly, there are places to get in touch with me, but the best way is to join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club because I do live streams every week. We cover hot topics. There's also live streams with and Q&As with Vivian, our Body Fit Dietitian. Let's get that same thing other side. And we do live forum feedback sessions and so much more. So join us in the Athletic Club if you were not there already. Ooh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps us out so much, helps us reach more people, get more people moving, and more people moving in a way that feels good for them. Let's get one big deep breath in. Thank you so much for being here and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell single double build workout. Great job, everybody.